Hey everyone, it's Joe. Glad to be here with you today. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, of course, because that's my home. But more importantly, I am at Westlake Pro Audio here in Berry Hill. Blackbird is just down the street. Right we have corner. Universal House of Blues yep. just right over there. My tracking room is right over there. Vance Powell's right over here. This is a really cool neighborhood to be in. But this is our buddy, Matt. Matt, thanks for having us out. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks right, for coming well, by. Tell us about Westlake. So Westlake Pro has been in business for a little more than 25 years. We've focused in studio design packages, outfitting, post-production, recording studios, mix engineers, and we specialize in Atmos. Uh, yeah, I'm noticing that. Yeah, yeah. You got the J, is that the, that's the new JBL 500 or 700? Uh, it varies depending on the size. Oh, but I yeah. see. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. There's, you got multiple layers here. Yeah, there's, yeah. It, this is a 9.6.1 setup. Okay. And um, we made some compromises because we had to com accommodate for the fact that we don't have sidewalls. Right. So it, it shows that you can make almost any room into an Atmos environment. Yeah, the, I know Atmos is all the rage. So can guys book time to come in here and, uh, Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. We have a fully functioning Atmos setup. We feature the S Avid S6, yeah, um, including the Gray surround sound uh, monitor controller. Nice, nice. Yeah. And um, yeah. we also have an API console. So if you want to do a hybrid mix where you want to mix in stereo analog, mm -hmm. but at the same time do a full Atmos mix, that's possible. Okay, very cool. Do they just go to your website? Because I know you have an LA store too. Yes. If they want to, if but if they're in mid in the Midwest and they're like, man, it's worth driving three hours to Nashville to to meet Matt and the gang and demo some gear, get some time in the chair. How would they do that? Oh, they can just either come to our web chat. Um, the website has a web chat. Okay. Or the phone number, just dial the Nashville phone number and just book a try yeah. to book a time. Yeah, they'll either reach myself or Eric or one of the other guys and. And I'm well, happy to meet with them. Okay. Very good. Very good. ATCs. Oh, we have a full collection I'm, of speaker brands. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm seeing all kinds of incredible stuff like over here. Like here you can see we have PMCs, Adams, Barefoot, Foc Focal. Um, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> Tell me about these guys right here. This is, this is interesting. I have never seen these. Yeah, they're a German company. Um, really fascinating company. The, the, fee the key thing about this speaker is that it, it works also based on how close you are to the wall. There are driver, there are passive radiators back here okay. and on the side. So in a speaker this small, you get really a huge sound field. I, I can imagine. I mean, the got the the big uh, the subwoofer on the side. Yep. So kind of um, kind of reminds me of some of those early barefoots. Of course, yeah. the ones are still making oh, as yeah. far as the design a little we bit. We still yeah. have all the barefoots. JL subwoofers. I mean, there's just speakers everywhere in this room. Yeah, absolutely. It's a uh, that subwoofer right there is not too small. No, it's an 18 inch JBL. There's two of them in here. <laughs> That's part wow. of the Atmos setup. Wow, that is impressive. And I see uh, a nice collection of outboard. Yeah, and everything's connected. So if someone wants to come in here, bring a track, plug into the outboard gear, it's all available. Um, so you can compare different types of Neve style mic pre's. We also have a room over there located um, in our vocal booth where people can audition all these different types of microphones. Oh, we're going to, can we walk in there here in yeah, just a second? Absolutely. Take a little peek. Lynx converters, Apogee. Yeah, so if you want to A-B converters, you can A-B converters. Bring it up on the console and, and listen back to stuff. Yeah, that's some, I love, I love Chandler stuff. I'm going to have to yeah. get, uh, add more of that to the rack. BAE. Is this, yeah? That's yep, the DC-10F. I have not heard this new API series yet. I, I, have, I haven't. I, I would like to, uh, you know, they have those pieces that the tube is visible for the, through yes. the little window. That's yes. like a whole new thing for API. This is another thing I'm really interested in. I, I, I really do, uh, I'm going to have to grab a Bus Plus at some point. Oh, the Bus Plus is unbelievable. It's a, right. it's a hybrid of their new and their old style compressors. I do not even want you to give me a demo yeah. because I will have to part with a lot of money. My favorite pieces are here, the, the undertone, the, the unfair child. Yeah, that that's is, one of my favorites. That is extremely cool. And their mic pre's are unbelievable. The MPDI-4. I have never heard a bad thing. I will tell you um, real quick here that we, you know, every, everybody loves Cliff, right? Everybody loves yeah. the Airband. Um, we just, because this is probably a product you carry, uh, we just shot a, a um, test of the new Pro Q2. I think oh, it's called, yeah. no, Pro, Pro EQ, Pre, Pre, Pre Q2. Pre Q2, yeah. Just a couple days ago, and it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you, you have Cliff's high end on there. You have a super clean, but, but, but not sterile right. mic pre. You know, it's transformer based, but it's very clean, ultra low noise. We really loved it. We really well, they're loved it. they're mastering um, module. I guess it's the the four M. 
I, I try to put one of those in almost all the studios I, I design mm -hmm. in the stereo mastering package. Yeah, it's, you know, that, that air band is just the thing, isn't it? It's so great. Yeah, they also have, we don't have it here, but they have a guitar interface that's really fascinating. Um, not, not mag, um, undertone. Oh, okay, gotcha. And so you can do your guitar overdubs, but simultaneously be printing direct to the computer, do your edits, flick a switch, and the DAW will go right back to the amplifier seamlessly. Okay, gotcha. That's very cool. Yeah. And one thing that I, it impresses me about what you guys do here, um, uh, not that I get to attend very many of them, but you're, it seems like there's always an event. Yes. I mean, yes. like always, it's like, holy, they just had somebody in there, you know, it's like, but that's awesome. I love it. Yeah, Nashville is one of the major hubs in the, exactly. in the country. Exactly. So we all, there's always talent in this town. So manufacturers are in this town. So every other week we do these tech talks where we'll feature a topic of the, of the week. So either it'll be a, a specific keyboard that was just released or um, talk about Atmos or talk about Pro Tools and the different versions. And then we do also these events called Sound Bites, where manufacturers will come in and, and sponsor the day, provide lunch, and um, they'll show new products. Last week, we had Empirical Labs here with their new pump, which is a 500 series version of the Distressor. Is that the day that you had, let's just set, face it, the GOAT, the Michael Jordan of audio? Yeah. Bob Claremont. <laughs> he was in town, I know. Bob Claremont came in to do a listening party in town, and he stopped by with Betty, and they, um, and, and they met up with um, the guys from the Empirical Labs. And um and Steve Mark Antonio was also hosting that event. Nice, nice, uh, big, yeah, 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 friend of Steve, nice guy, a very talented engineer. So so, I think one takeaway, real quick, before we see your microphones, yeah. is that guys should probably follow you guys. Now, is, is the Instagram page the uh, is there a Nashville page and an LA page, or or is there one that covers both stores? on Instagram and Facebook and all this kind of thing. I have no idea. You don't even know? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> but they should probably go yeah, they can check follow. it out because I'm, I'm as sure if they're, if they're going to have an event that's going to feature a Steve Marcantonio or a Bob Claremont, it's probably going to be advertised yeah, you on can social follow, media. You can certainly follow us on, on Facebook and Instagram, and, and the events yeah, will be, be posted aware, there. Yeah, because yeah. it's, you know, let's face it, I, I, I'm from uh, a town about three and a half hours north here, very rural, Yeah, but, you know, when I was younger, I would have made this drive oh, yeah. to, to meet, to see the gear I wanted to see or to meet the people I wanted to meet, I would have drove. Well, you know? the big problem is that a lot of these different um, stores, you know, your guitar centers and so forth, don't have the array of even just the speakers oh, that we yeah, have. Not of that caliber. That's, no, so yeah. I have guys come in from Asheville or Oklahoma City or New Orleans, and they'll come into town for the day, grab lunch, maybe spend the night, hit Broadway. But come in just to hear speakers. Well, I mean, if you're going to drop eight grand yeah. on a pair of speakers, you can't do it based on what you say. Right. You can't do it based on what I say, Warren, anybody else. You have to hear it. Yeah, you have I mean, to hear it. We, and the only, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy speakers of that caliber, like the Adams I'm yeah. looking at and the PMCs. You have to hear them. So you have to come to a place like this. You yeah, know? I mean, we certainly try to accommodate requests. So if you have a, if you live in a really hard to get to place, um, if you want to demo something in your own environment, we try to accommodate those things and there's nice. guidelines that we follow. But um, if you can make it down here, it's nothing like being in exactly. a controlled environment. Exactly. Cool. Well, why don't we look at your microphones? Yeah. Yeah. I in. see some things in there that I know uh, are on the bucket list. <laughs> so this is a really interesting room. And this was designed by Chad Evans, who also works here. I know Chad. Yeah, yeah. Chad's a great yeah, guy. He's, he's, been a, he's been around. He actually designed the store. So um, I, I remember. So the concept is you can just simply step on a pedal, mm -hmm. and you step on a pedal, the microphone opens. Oh, So okay. you can just go from mic to mic and just step on the pedal, and we'll record all the vocals, and you can sit there and listen back to what you've recorded. You know, something I can tell from looking and that I really like I don't see an elitist mentality. If, if you're not in the market for a yeah. $6,000 remake of a U47, if they want to hear a 300, yeah. it's like, hey, this is how much money I have. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you, you're working for those people too. I yeah. love that. I actually I mean, the love goal that. is to make sure you get the right microphone. So if you have $10,000 to spend, it's not an easy decision which $10,000 microphone is great. Sure. And if you have $500 to spend, it's still the same, same challenge. You yes. know, what mic is best for your voice? Well, thank you for looking out for everyone in every yeah. price range. I, I I know I appreciate that. I've really been wanting to uh, demo a pair of those. Yeah, the Soyuz microphones are fantastic. That's their full array of vocal microphones yeah. from the 017 tube to the 017 FET and the bomblet in the middle. Do you, do you have the uh, the pencil mic? There's one right yeah, there. That. that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, that's a pair, right? Yep, there. There's a match pair. Oh, we may have to arrange a demo. I, I, we may <laughs> we, have that to do can be that. arranged. The yeah. beautiful thing about that microphone is it still has a transformer in it. Exactly. So it's more like the KM84. Right, right. I have heard nothing but rave reviews about them. And it, every, yes. every time I get closer to saying, ah, this, you got to get them in. You got to get them in. That's but, my you know, favorite pencil I know that mic. means I have to turn loose of money. <laughs> and, you know, I know you've got, you have another room we need to head into. Yeah. And it's um, so this used to be a working studio. So before before we were here, okay. So the, obviously the control room is our main our main room. Sure. But we converted the live room into um, the synth room. Okay. Well, let's walk in there. And depending on the size of the event, we'll also determine which room we do the event in. I gotcha. So we've done events in this room with up to 30, 40 people in here. You know, okay. rows of seats where. Yeah. Vance Powell and F um, and Reed Shipman were um, doing like a demonstration. We, we've never heard of. I've never heard of either one. Those of are them. those are our good friends. Yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm friends with them as well. Okay, so I see some more stuff over here. Yeah, so this is an alternate listening workstation, and if you wanted to, like in in that room, we have the S6. Right. But in this room, we have more of a modest setup with an S1 in the dock, mm -hmm. and um, still Pro Tools, Luna any kind of DAW you want to work with. Okay. And you can demo smaller speakers in this room. I was getting ready to say, you know, I bet it's more realistic for some guys, depending on where they're coming in from, to hear a speaker in here, because this is more sure. like their room at home. Yeah. You know, not overly treated, uh, you know, up closer to you, yeah. things like that. I, yeah. can see, I can see that being a thing. And this room yeah. has its own sonic challenges. This isn't treated as a control room. This is treated as a live room. But a lot of our friends... Exactly. Their, their control rooms are not uh, exactly. overly treated yet. You know? I mean, in this town, you have a lot of A-frame ceiling, barns, right. and <laughs> bonus rooms. Bonus yes. rooms. Yeah. The bonus room studio is the thing. Oh, I have one of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And I see some more synths behind you, some really nice stuff, too. Yeah, we try and keep a nice variety of the top end yeah. gear here. And so they can, uh, I mean, just come in here and, yeah. okay, uh, how, how welcome is the public to just stop in on a day-to-day -day basis without calling you? If they find themselves in Nashville... Hey, the door is not locked. Okay, gotcha. You can come by anytime you want. Um, we typically run from nine to six, mm -hmm. um, though we kind of you know, we got to have our coffee in the morning. So, <laughs> so come around 10, yeah. you know, and, and we wind down around, you know, just before 5, 30, gotcha. 6 o'clock. Okay. Um, but yeah, doors open all the time. So you don't need an appointment to stop by. If you want to check out specific things, then an appointment is definitely advised. Right, right. So we can prepare in advance. But no matter where they're located, I'm sure they can call you up, develop oh, yeah. a relationship with one of your sales team. Absolutely. And, and I, I'm a big fan of that. You don't just buy anywhere all, I mean, you know, like develop a friendship yeah. with a guy that you know and trust. Um, you're going to get your best deals. You're going to get your best information. Most of the people that work here, I would imagine, have been in the business a long time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and my clients, my my clients tend to like they'll text me on a Saturday night at like midnight and be like, "Hey, what do you think of this? Or what right. do you think of that?" And if I'm awake, I'll answer them. You yeah. know, it's like yeah. there is no. Yeah, you know, I, I come from the studio background, mm. so we worked in the studio from like two in the afternoon to six in the morning. So it's, you know we don't we don't really you know think yeah I get it. I inside mean, if you're, the box if you're going to spend three thousand dollars on your next tube compressor um, it, it's just really good to talk to people because there's going to be a couple options yeah I, mean, I love myself the idea of talking to somebody that knows a lot and yeah. can help me yeah. you know before I part part with that money if I can't come in. Uh, well, it's all about talk. relationships. I mean, exactly. Like, I want to talk to somebody that's experienced. Yeah, we have about a dozen uh, sales reps here, and each of nice. them have their own, um, I mean, between here and Los Angeles. Okay, gotcha. And so we all have our, our audience of clients that we work with. And So just to recap, you can do anything from coming here to demo a $300 microphone to having you design my multi-million dollar facility. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's enough. That's kind of enough said, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can edit this video down to 30 seconds, and that's kind of the deal. Well, just make yeah. sure you get the part about me not knowing the social media out of there. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Sounds great. Well, I sure appreciate your time. I'll reach over the table, shake your hand. Absolute Thanks pleasure. for having us out and giving us a look. Uh, so if you find yourself in the Midwest or in the, at the, the West Coast, um, Westlake Pro is a, is a good option to stop in. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for watching, guys.